What's up guys, Tonton here and welcome back to my channel. So here we are today with a new Transformer figures. This is the Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Skid from G1. So let's begin. So here we have Skid in his robot mode. And to be honest, like I have said so many times before that I'm not a G1 fan. So I only Skid as the green racist Autobot from Revenge of the Fallen. And this is the second incarnation of him that I know so yeah fill me in in the comment section what do you know about this guy and let's get to the figure itself so here we have Skid in his glorious G1 form and since this is the G1 design this inherited so much of the old designs problems like you know the bulky chest the big legs and the slim arms and you have two windows popping outside and yeah overall the aesthetics is not really nice I don't like his aesthetics that much but I guess let's get into this detail. So here we have the face. This is a uh, grumpy Autobot. And despite the design, I think the head scope is really nice. You got some nice silver paint and some really nice blue paint on the eyes. Actually, I really love the eyes. I think they are full characteristic. I think the, the face scope overall is nice. But the only bad thing is that if you look at the head, you see here, this is the panel from the front section of the cars. So when he transforms, he's going to fold it down and then you will see the head at the vehicle mode. And I'm going to show you in the transformation. But yeah, that is bad, I guess. And if we move out of the chest, you got some paint over here. You got the Autobot logos, which is really nice. And you got the whole rim section painted in the silver. And you got some red and yellow paint for the light. And I think that is pretty decent. I think that is nice for the chest, even though the, the shape is horrible. I, I enjoy the paint. And I'm going to move to the car window here, as you can see. Okay, so that is clear blue, and you got some paint as well. You got some paint, so some red stripe, and some silver for the uh, door, the door handle, and some lining. That is pretty cool. So now the arms. The arm is pretty boring. You got some holes in the middle of the arms, and that should be it. Nothing too special here. You got some wheels. The thigh surprisingly is painted in a really nice bright silver colors. They are meant to be blue, and but they painted the silver, and I think that is a pretty nice gesture. And but yes, of course, as for the deluxe class, it is hollowed. So I'm gonna spin it for you to see. You see, wow! Just look at the hollowness of this guy. Wow. The rest of the leg, you got some painted red stripe as well. And this, when you transform him into his alternate mode, will match with the uh, window up there. So it looks kind of cool. Reminds me of my dad's old car. I'm gonna turn him around to the back. See, a uh, really, you can say this is a pretty clean, cubeless backpack. Yeah, I can say that. That is pretty okay. And one unfortunate thing about this guy is that if you turn him around and see just hollowness man. Just hollowness. Uh for his accessories, first off, you got a blaster. This is the standard transfer blaster, weird shape, silver painted. You got holes up there. And to equip it, you're just gonna plug it onto his arms and that just looks stupid. Just uh and then the second you got a double barrel thing over here. And to attach it you can either have him holding it or you can uh, plug it onto his arm like that there we go and i think he looks cooler i'm gonna i'm gonna put him using i'm gonna try to do this i think that it looks better yeah that that does look better now it feels like his whole arm is a gun okay so for the re the last accessories we got with this guy so here we have a clear blue axe and this is somewhat a thing that's going on with the entire legacy line you know like when i review kickback you he got that purple blade so this guy got a blue axe so this is a, like energon weapon and dark energon weapon thingy i guess so you can attach it onto him like that and that looks is pretty neat that is kind of neat and you can put it on like this as well for some double g barrel gun but that, that is pretty cool. The articulation begins with the head. You can look up a little bit and down a little bit and do a full 360. And then, as I have said, this is on a ball joint. So, yeah. Arms move out like that. And you got this joint here as well for transformation. So, you got a uh, spin here. You got a bicep swivel. This is the elbow band. And you got some articulation at the hands. I mean, why? 
for some figures, for some main characters, you give them like that transforming hand bullshit, but this guy got a rotation. And then you got a thigh swivel. Pretty clear. Uh, this is a kick to the front, kick to the back, split, knee band. Actually, a pretty cool knee band. And you got a pivot. I mean, like, articulation wise, this guy is a, like, the standard G1 less famous characters that you could expect from, you know, like, he, he got just that. So, size comparison, here we have Skid next to Siege, Prow and Earthrise Ratchet. You see, Skid and Prow is like the same, but Ratchet is a little bit bigger. Now, I think that's it. Let's get to transformation. Finish transforming skit. The first thing that appears in my head is like, what is really this? I mean, like, this is a really bland and boring transformation. It's like, okay, you're just gonna fill up his leg, and that should be it. And I mean, that is pretty boring. And I mean, if you look at the result, I don't even like the alternate mode. It's just so bland, you know. I know that there will be some G1 guys out there gonna tell me that this is the original design and blah blah blah. Yeah, I don't care. Sorry for that, but I actually don't care. To me, this is a pretty bad transformation, resulting in a bland and boring alternate mode. I have zero tolerance for this kind of boring transformation mechanism. And I'm gonna spin him around so you can see. See, you got some paint here and there. And that should be it. I, I appreciate the, I appreciate the gesture that they make the clear window, but then you can see a bunch of cables inside. And if I flip him around, see his head. I mean, like, yeah, that is all I gotta say about this guy right here. So, like, the only nice thing I can say about this the mode is that this is somewhat of a bland and boring cars. You know, more like with the term of the robot in disguise, not like a truck with red colors on it. So yeah, um, I mean like I still feel enough for this guy to be in my collection, even though I don't really like the, like him that much. And of course you can store his weapon onto his alternate mode. You got this double barrel gun right here. Plug this in here. This goes here, and this pistols goes here. And they can all switch position for each other because they all use the same. So yeah, you can pluck it in any way you want. Here we have Skid next to Bumblebee. As you see, Skid is somewhat bigger. Yeah, because like Skid is more like a, 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 an SUV. Now there we have him next to Prime, and of course as the big truck, Prime is always superior in size, and because he is a leader class in the Voyager form. So, in my opinion, to me, Legacy Skid here is a totally up to you situation. Like, you don't have to have him, you don't need him to complete your G1 cast, and you just gonna buy him because I think the only reason you're gonna buy him because somewhat you are, you are, you have a lot of money and you want to have all of them, I guess. And this is a hard pass. I mean, like, there's a thing that could get people to buy him, which is the axe, because surely that will be combined into other weapons in the future. And yeah, that should be it. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Tonton out.